Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome for another edition of the Artelino video productions. Our video productions are focused on Japanese art prints. Uh, but first let me introduce myself. My name is DJ Ventura and I'm the owner and manager of the Artelino company. And of course we sell Japanese art prints and we do that in weekly online auctions. A few weeks ago we got a great consignment of so-called Shinhanga art prints and today I want to introduce to you a, a very special one, Very Rare by Hazui Kawase. It shows this strange rock formation. Well the title is Seta Kamui, rock, and well Seta, uh, that's the Japanese word for dog, and Kamui is the Japanese word for God, so dog card. And this is the nickname for this rock formation. And it's in Shiribeshi subprefecture on Hokkaido Island. This Shiribeshi that's in the west of the Hokkaido uh, Island. It's not among the top tourist attractions. I thought when I saw this print, well, uh, let's Google a little bit. Um, I want to see what it looks real. Um, not quite easy to find, so that shows um, it's a little bit off the usual tourist site. But let's take a look at that. Let's go to that website where we can see what it actually looks like. Well, we are here on this Japanese website and we'll see what it looks like today. I don't know how old this photograph is. Uh, well, there you see this um, crazy um, rock. The text says uh, Seta Kamui means dog god in the Ainu language. Well, here well, you have a um, house directly on the beach. Um, a little bit spoils a little bit um, the, the view. And Hazri Kawase maybe may have had the position maybe here when he took the sketch. Uh, I'm now going to tell you a little bit more how Hazui worked and tell you a little bit more about this print in the next step. Well, Hazui Kawase was the leading uh, Shinhanga artist specialized on landscape uh, prints and he published nearly all of his prints with Watanabe Shotsaburo. This design was published in, two, in 1933 and there are two versions, a day version and a version in the morning with the morning glow. Well, we have the morning glow version. I first thought, well, this is evening. No, it's morning glow. According to the catalogue raisonné for Hazui Kawase, there's a thick fat book which lists all his woodblock print works. I found um, another uh, design of this on the Virginia Fine Art Museums and this is interesting because well they show a watercolor. Okay we're going now um, to take a look at that. We are here on the website of the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts and you see the same design and let's go to the description. Um, down there, category works on paper paintings. And there was astonished. And then medium watercolor. Hey, it doesn't say woodblock print. And then what we did, we compared this preci precisely. We checked the catalog raisonné. It looks perfectly like a woodblock. Uh, it imitates a woodblock perfectly. I first thought, hey, the museum may be wrong. But uh, when you look at it, and there you see it Im imitates with the seal and the signature which is carved always here in the right top, uh, in the right bottom corner on all wood, Hazway woodblock prints. Um, but when you look at the design, the clouds and the waves especially, it's different. And the two different woodblock versions, they were made from the same blocks. This was a common practice. So this seems to be indeed a watercolor, although it doesn't look like one. Well, um, in the next step, I'm telling you a little bit 
how Hasri actually made um, his woodblock prints and maybe that solves and explains um, well this uh, little bit astonishing fact. Well, uh, let me explain you how did Hasri Kawaza actually um, produce, create these woodblock prints. He traveled a lot. He did not make the drawings, the designs from any photographs. He actually went on the spot and made a sketch uh, from the real object. He was a short uh, man, uh, the bad eyesight. Um, he had to get close to the object. Uh, he was short-sighted with thick glasses. And during the daytime, he made sketches as I said, in front of the objects. And in the evening, when he came home to um, his inn, he had his dinner, maybe a glass of sake, and then he colored these um, sketches. And when he came home, back to Tokyo, to Watanabe's print shop, he handed these sketch or sketches over to the carvers and printers, and they transformed that into a woodblock print. Hazui Kawase accompanied this process of carving and printing and sometimes made corrections. And it's interesting what Hazui Kawase once wrote. He said he himself was astonished that sometimes the final woodblock print looked better than his original design and sometimes it was the other way around. Well, in the next step, I am going to show to you how to read these Japanese characters here on the margin. Now, first of all, I have to turn it a little bit around, otherwise I cannot see it. I hope you can still see it well. Can you? Yeah? Oh, okay. Well, uh, here on the bottom right corner, you see that red seal, that is the Hazui seal. And on top, that's the Hazui signature, not signed by hand. All these woodblock prints by Hazui, um, there you find in the right corner, signature and seal, but it's made from a um, carving into a, a block. On the left side here, this is the Watanabe copyright seal. And this is the copyright seal that was used uh, from roughly 1929 until 1942. Let's go to the right margin. Uh, difficult for me to see. Let me take off my glasses. Uh, it says here on top Shiribeshi, that's the subprefecture, subprefecture where you have this odd rock formation. And this, okay, that says Seta Kamui Iwa, Seta Kamui, dog god, the name of this rock formation, and Iwa is the Japanese word for rock. Well, next down here um, on bottom of the right margin, you have the information of when it was published. And this says uh, Showa 8. Well, this stands here for, for 8. And made in the month of May. What is Showa? Showa is a period of the Japanese calendar. This is a crazy thing. The Japanese uh, calendar identifies itself by the Japanese emperor when they start their ruling and when it's ended. And the Showa period uh, started in 1926 and ended in 1989. So um, this, these characters uh, say nothing else than, okay, they was published in 1933. Now in the next step, I'm going to show you how you can get this information about these Watanabe copyright seals. We are here on the website of the Ukiyo-e Gallery. This Ukiyo-e Gallery has a lot of valuable information and um, it's uh, done by Thomas Crossland and Andreas Grund. So credit to these two guys. Um, very, very good information. And on this page here, ukiyoegallery.com water seal page one dot htm um, you find these different bunches of seals and copyright seals with a lot of information let's go down 
Uh, okay, there you see bunches of information. That's really um, information for the experienced collectors, but especially newbies can also learn a lot about that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, friends of Japanese art prints, this was a long video today, but I hope it gave you some valuable information. I want to add just a few more things. Uh, this print is in our current auction and today is August uh, 31st. Tomorrow is September 1, Sunday, and this auction will end. If you should happen to see it before auction end, take a look at our catalog. I would be pleased. Well, and enjoy our website, enjoy our auctions, and have a great time. Goodbye.